Gentlemen, it's good to see you both again. Good like to see you. Uh, you know, athletes, sometimes they'll go back and watch film from like previous games and things, what they can work on or do. I'm just curious, and I asked this question, did you go back and study the 1973 classic just to get ready for it? You made this your own, and we'll get to that in a second, but I'm <laughs> curious if you go back and, and watch that. We, we, I think we both intentionally stayed away from it initially. We wanted to go back to the source material. Obviously, it's a true story based on a very successful memoir. And there were a couple of other pieces of incredible source material that we, we referenced. And then about three or four weeks into it, uh, we spent most evenings together looking at the stuff for the next day or the week coming. And uh, we decided we'd sit down and watch the film together, uh, yeah. which was exciting. It was a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a, um, you know, I, I, I can't think of the... Uh, adaptation of the swear word that I was going to use the um, but it was it messed with our heads a little bit or at least it did mine but yeah you said it, it didn't mitigate any of our, our fears by yeah. any means right but it was fun I mean what what I think we were also trying to uh, gauge is the levity in that film and how we because ours is it's pretty brutal version of uh, the right. circumstances and you can, I don't think you could go through that without seeing how that uh, camaraderie exists through having a, a, some comic undertones. What are some of the other challenges? I know most actors, when they take on some roles, they work out. I think you guys work down. <laughs> you starved yourselves, it looks like, you know, as, a, as the movie progresses. But what were some of the other challenges? Charlie's, Charlie starved, and I just had a hard time eating in front of him because it was... <sighs> It just, it was good. he was going to punch me at one point if I, if I had something nice and tasty in front of me. No. Uh, yeah, man, you really, you really. There was some, uh, you know, the, the conditions were at, on occasion quite difficult, particularly that um, long escape sequence that we did in the evening. We, we shot it all night and, you know, it was rain coming, over, coming down and we shot it in late... November, I believe, or maybe early November in um, Montenegro, and it was in the mountains, and it was very, very cold, and that water was incredibly cold, and it was the end of the shoot, and we were already tired and, you know, malnourished, and so I remember those nights being particularly long. Oh, what, yeah. is it, what is it like to play real people? And you're actually getting ready to take on a huge role, with Freddie Mercury, of course, but I mean, these guys existed. And what do you feel as actors? How challenging is that? How different is that for an actor to play somebody that is real? Uh, well, you, it's, you have to honor their story in a way that uh, you perhaps don't have the same uh, creative liberties uh, at times because, you know, there is, yeah, there's a loyalty you have to have to this person. You're telling their story. I mean, and that's you know one last vestige of uh, who they are uh, to to bring back to uh, an audience. So you have to with with care and consideration. You have to be very very thoughtful. That's someone's legacy. 